my quick, quick overview and update of my slippers. It is slipper time, slipper season, whatever you want to call it. I sound like I'm really happy about it, but when I refer to slipper season, that means it's going to get cold soon. And I don't like the cold at all. In fact, I'm dreading it. Instead of living in the moment while we still have 29 degrees outside, yeah, I'm already going, Ooh, I don't want it to get cold. I know, I'm a pansy, and I'll admit to that. But the reason I'm so excited in my voice is not because of the climate. First of all, really sweet of you to be here. Much appreciated. First of all, I'm just so happy to be able to show you a quick update. And what I'm doing here with my slippers, because they're out, is to give them a good cleanup, update you about them, show you my fabulous makeup brush and why I use this. And it's a call to action in this video. Yes, a call to action because I'm going to be listing all the names of these beautiful slipper orchids here. And I'm hoping that anybody who ever watches this video will then put their name into the comments below and say, I've got that orchid and I want to do a care collab with you. That's part and parcel. I want to have you on board instead of, you know, trying to guess who's got what. I do have several people that have slippers and I have them in my care collab. I haven't gotten some lists yet, so I'm waiting for that. But let's, let me do my part and show you my slippers. Let's talk about them, update you on them. And if you have any of these orchids, let me know in the comments below because I can then put you already on the list so that we can get a move on and get some care collabs going. Especially, especially, I have this beautiful Paphiopedalum spicerianum coming into bloom and I have some channels that also have this orchid, but I don't know if there's more channels out there with this orchid and I would love to do a care collab together with you. Look at her. Oh, first time bloomer for me and she arrived. She was so tiny. One little fan. Can't check the date because it's a... Uh, <laughs> A root is hanging on to it and I'm not going to disturb the root. I'm thinking three and a half years ago. One itty bitty little fan, but look at her. She's almost in bloom and people's channels out there. If you have Paphiopedalum spicerianum and you would like to do a care collab with me in the next two or three weeks, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to because I'm super, super chuffed about this one. Here's the Delanati that also came to me teeny, teeny, tiny. And Fernanda Nacimiento Orchids and Succulents is the coordinator of this care collab pertaining to the Paphiopedalum delenati. So if you have it, leave it in the comments below and I will pass and forward your name to her so that she can be in touch with you as and when she does another care collab on this gorgeous Paphiopedalum. I thought mine was coming into bloom when I saw this new leaf coming out. I really thought it was coming into bloom well, we'll get another leaf out of her. But she's doing very, very well. And the reason I'm using this makeup brush is because you can tell by the texture, so this is my mint chocolate, <gasps> coming into bloom. This is so exciting. You can tell by the texture of these leaves that they're not flat. I don't want to go with water and a rag on these leaves. So all I do is I take my super fuzzy makeup brush and then just brush off the dust. You can actually, maybe, maybe not, but you see how much dust comes off of these. And then at least they've been relieved of that top layer. And to me, that's all they need. This is a bit of sunburn. That was me not careful with the angle of the sun last year. Can you believe it? That was last year's damage. But look at this. I'm going to be seeing mint chocolate soon. And I really, really hope that she is not mislabeled. Looking forward to that. So if you have mint chocolate, let me know in the comments below. Here we have Gloria Naga. Now she also has a little bit of fuzz texture to her leaves, which is awesome. So my brush goes in and that is why I'm out here dusting <laughs> my papier pedalums, all my slippers. <laughs> but there, she still hasn't bloomed for me as you can tell, but she's looking very, very good. I'm liking the progress on her. So that's Paphiopedalum Gloria Naga. Awesome. Very happy with her progress. Over there, 
And now right here is Pachypedalum Iona. When she blooms, now I get multiple blooms out of her. She comes up and I might have three stooges or two stooges. Funny, funny looking bloom. They're awesome, I love them. But she is just going nuts in her pot. For the time being, I've left her in this pot. I always am so tempted to upgrade and put it into a bigger pot, but we'll see what happens next season. So as part of my maintenance here, these leaves can come off, you know, and if I, if I can't just pull them off gently, then I leave them until such a time that they just come off with a single little click. So that was fortunate. I could show you that, but normally if it doesn't come off that easily, I leave them until they do it of their own accord. Also, last year's sunburn, we got much more careful. And also her texture of the leaves is also a fuzzy one. So the makeup brush application dusting goes on with this one as well. What else am I doing with these guys? Right now, as they're all outside, I've got them up to the brim of the pots with calcium, magnesium, and seaweed. Very, very low, um, 100 parts per million in total. So that is 60 parts per million of calcium and magnesium and 40 parts per million of seaweed at lower pH, 5.6, because these guys like a little bit more acid around their roots. So I have dropped my pH, and that's why I do these separately in my maintenance, because I can mix up a fertilizer batch just for them and give them a much lower doses in the pH and not have to fuss around with the other orchids. So I can empty a bucket, fill up the pots to the rim, let them soak while I take care of them, give them a once over, and then put them back on their shelf. And no, I do not flush out with clean water. I just take out the excess of the reservoir and leave what is necessary in the reservoir for them to absorb. But a good flush, a good soak, just for about 20 minutes while I'm having a grouse over and a look-see, and they're fine. With the exception, it's at 5.6, 5.7 pH. We have the two big ones in the back. This is also one that needs a lot of makeup brushes. <laughs> This is my Lindley Cooperwitz. Beautiful, beautiful blooms. She's doing amazing in her pot. Don't you just love it how the sunlight picks all that detail up? Oh my goodness, you can really see the fuzz on the leaves. So I don't, again, nothing wet touches the leaves. It's just a good brush with a makeup brush and it's perfect. Anyway, she is a reliable bloomer. She is doing really well in her pot. And she's very heavy right now. So. Let's put you back, and we're gonna go up with another bigger one even. This is a no ID, American hybrid of sorts, but also, <laughs> excuse me for panting, <laughs> doing well, very, very well. This one needs a little bit more care with regards to how close it is to the window angle of the sun. I can wipe these leaves off easily with a wet cloth, which will follow, I should have done that before the video. <laughs> I was doing the maintenance and I thought, well, hang on a second, let's have a little chit chat and let's have a little update. So my little American hybrid here of sorts is also carrying on and doing well. I'm hoping that, yep, this is a floppy leaf from the fan that bloomed this year. So. I was concerned if that was a new growth leaf, that would worry me, but nope, they're okay. All the new growths are fine. And from the biggie, biggie, biggie one, I'm now gonna show you my itty, itty, bitty one. Look at this. I know, wait, wait for it. <laughs> Look, no. Can you believe it? This is Bellatulum XL. No. <clears throat> Hardly an XL. But this is a trooper, a survivor, and I love her for it. This was a little bit of an offshoot that came off when I was potting up the mother plant. The mother plant died on me because I scorched the leaves, like I did with the mint chocolate over there. And I scorched two leaves on the mother plant, and then she didn't make it just for the scorching. So if you have them, be careful with the sun. Some can take it and survive, and others, well, they'll go downhill and she was like just a two leaf little segment that I got with something that resembled a root. It wasn't even a proper root shame. But look at her now. I am so proud of this little one, look. So these were just the two little leaves. And look at what she's been doing in the past years. And there are roots in the pot. There are 
maybe one route, but it's huge. I don't know if we can see it by contrast with the light and everything, but it is a massive route, like an XL route. Maybe that's why they called it XL because the route's so big, but the orchid is so tiny. But yeah, I'm so happy. Doing really well. This is a mix of Akadama and Grit. And she always gets a little bit of a flush. Now with her, what I will do is flush her, careful with the crown, flush her properly with exactly the same strength as I do with others. So this is also 100 parts per million. And for this itty bitty little creature, it would be overkill in my opinion. But for one little flush, she's okay. And then in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna flush her pot through and just have plain RO water in the reservoir. But isn't that amazing? I really should have the tag out so we can see her, but I don't wanna jiggle around in that pot. <laughs> she just cracks me off, I love it. So yeah, right, update, call to action. We've got Pilatinum, we've got Delinati, we've got Gloria Nagel, we've got Iona. We've got chocolate mint, we've got Lindley Kupowitz, American hybrid, and soon to bloom Spicerianum. Again, if you have any, any of these orchids and you would like to hop on board the Care Collab initiative, leave me a comment below. We will get in touch and then we'll send you the details. I will look forward to getting everything organized and coordinate some Care Collab. Thank you so very, very much for joining me. I appreciate your time once again. I hope you, you enjoyed a quick look at all my little puffs. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.